G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm down at the local harbour and I've decided to come down and chase some blackfish. I haven't done this in years. Um, I got some weed off the rocks the other day. As you can see, there's heaps of cabbage weed here everywhere in this little pool here, all over the rocks here everywhere. We'll grab a bit. We want some burley as well as we'll um, to mix in with some sand. And then we also want some nice bait stuff as well. So we'll pick some up. Look at there, heaps of it there. Nice, fresh, awesome looking cabbage weed there. I'm very keen to see how we go. First thing we need to do, we've got our pre-mixed burl here, as you can see there. Little bits of chopped up cabbage in there. Nice squeeze, and we'll get the burly going. Couple of nice big handfuls there. And let's get the line in the water. Oh, down again. Set it down. Oh, missed him. Oh, it's starting to, a couple starting to show up. Let's get some bait on. You can see just putting the bait on here. Run nicely. Any leftover stuff, just chuck it in the burly bucket. You can see down there. And there we go, there's a nice presented bait ready to go. They're not too far out there. It's a little flick out there. Let him sink down. We'll see how we go. I don't even have to cast it along this wall here, it's nice and deep. There's a little edge running out here, which I think they're sitting on the edge of. Burley's definitely the key for fi when fishing for blackfish, especially on rock walls. So guys, today I'm using an Alvi center pin reel. I've got 20 pound braid on it, I've got a 10 foot six rod, nice and soft. This is an old light surf rod, but anything about that 10 foot six, and it's nice and soft, as you can see, it's nice and whippy there. And down to a float and a nice noodle, needle snack hook. The float's weighted nicely just so the stem's sticking out. And on along the rock walls here, it's just going to move in and out with the surges. Um, just let you stay in contact with your float, but don't pull it over. And you might have to vary your depths of your float as well. Nice way to fish, though. Yeah, nice and cruisy. Yeah. Down to the okay, yep. We can't do it now. No down there. Yeah, right. Yeah, yep. The only thing I'd say about your float, it's a little bit high in the water. Like when it's out there, yeah. it sits a bit high in the water. Like it, you need to put a little bit more weight on it. More yeah, okay. just to get, just so you got the stem out of the water. Yeah, right. Yeah, cool. just, and it'll just less resistance for them when they bite it. Then right. that's all right. Got him. There we go. Another one. Just pulled it down nicely. I think it's only a little one, this one. Just right on the edge there. Yeah, he's only a little one, this one. We'll get our net. Let him fight out there till he's ready. Come here, mate. A long handle net is definitely a must when fishing off the rocks or in these break walls. But there's another one. And there you go, guys. And another little blackfish there. He'd be 30 centimeters. 
but a great little fish and great fun to spend an afternoon down here in the marina there's a second one we've got in the bag we're going to keep a few we've got them down in the keeper net here keep them nice and fresh and fingers crossed we can get a couple more for a feed Oh, yeah. Well, we missed that one there. We'll put him back out and see how we go. Beautiful afternoon here. Sun setting over there. What an afternoon. Yeah, I haven't chased blackfish in years off the rocks like this. I don't know, it'd have to be 10, maybe longer. Must admit, I'm enjoying it. Watching that float is mesmerizing. And. Get a couple of fish as well, it's even better. Oh, Downer. Oh, he's playing with it. Go, mate. Just playing with it at the moment, you just see the float just going up and down slightly. I just wanted to pull it under properly. Got a bit of line out. Go, okay, mate, take it under. Just playing with it. If you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button tap that notification bell and also leave me a message if you want to know any more information all right flight's going down come on mate eat it Whoa. missed another one there oh well they're fairly timid today, but we're down here fishing anyway. It's better than working. So I've brought two outfits out today. I've brought the center pin down and also the spin reel. But now I'm going to give the spin one a go. Oh, yeah. I missed him. Mm. Come on, mate. Pull it under properly. Oh, go again. Yep, got him. Oh, yeah, mm. yeah. Nice fish. Was going hard this one. Don't get in there. Oh, we got this one on the spin gear. It's going hard, this one. Oh, come away from that snag. Look, a really light rod, this one. Oh, I don't think it is a blackfish, though. I think it is a happy moment. By the look of it. Which it is. Well, that last fish, guys, was what we call a happy moment. It's one you don't want to get spiked by because you'll end up in hospital in severe pain. So that's why you can see I didn't talk much about it. 
and had the pliers out and just let him go on the net. But as you can see, they go hard as. Well, we've got another inquiry here. Oh, down. Go down, mate. On again. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's going hard. Oh, dropped him. That was just a little blackfish, that one. Look at that sunset behind me. How good is that? But if you want to see any more fishing videos, check these ones out here. And until next time, enjoy what I enjoy. It's fishing, camping, and cooking the catch.